Alright guys, we're back on some customs to show you guys the insides and the outs and the guts and the nice areas to go check out and maybe some cheeky spots. Right here, gas station. First thing I want to say, an AS Val can spawn there, a VSS, so go check that out. It's inside right in the table. It's very, very rare, but my buddy has found one and I have found one, so make sure you check that out. It's a cheeky spot. <laughs> I always like to show people this because more and more people are using it. I think because of another streamer, I believe. But I've laid down in this spot right here so many times with the PSO on my SKS and I've murdered people. You can also jump up here and get on top of this truck and look over the wall, which is what my buddy likes to do. But these gates are becoming more and more frequently used. So a lot of players are actually going through here. So it's, a, it's an easy pickup, especially if you spawn med van. You can just run out here and kind of lock down this area. But be careful of your right. A lot of people like to jump the fence and go straight to gas station and push down this road. And they will see you laying down right here. But you should be able to hear them. Um, another way to jump over, jump on this box, get on top of forklifts, jump over the gate. you got to have somewhat of a higher strength to do that. You can obviously unlock the factory and go through there. If you don't have factory, though, there's always this approach on the car. Just wait to the very end of that little hatch, jump up on the porta potty, jump over. Alright. So, convenience store. There's not too much to say about it. A lot of players will fight at convenient, but they won't set at convenient and fight. Um, they'll push out here to this little barbed wire area and lay down by this in this ditch by this uh, pipe. Or they'll push the very far back side and go hug the wall. Very rarely do people run down this road or down through this little pipe right here and go straight up on the overpass. My buddy and I do. That's because we don't give a fuck. Uh, some players will, so obviously keep that in mind. Obviously some players are going to be like us. But most of the time they hug each exterior wall, the perimeter of it. And they kind of stay on the outskirts. Because this area is not the best for PvP. But now you're here and you made it to overpass. Now, if you and your buddies have confusion because you like to split like my buddy Tyler and I do, that'd be overpass. This would be in between. And back here would be backside overpass. You can call it whatever the hell you want. You can call it another name that maybe a bigger streamer calls it. I don't, doesn't really matter to me. But that's what we call it to try and differentiate between everything. Um, you can shoot through these fence, obviously, but sometimes your bullets will get blocked. I was up there on the hill. And of course it may have been the difference in scopes, but I was up on the hill and I shot through this fence at Tyler and it did not hit him at all. It hit him a couple times, but it didn't hit him at all. It should have killed him. <laughs> so, there's that. Now, I'll show you guys a couple spots. This is just hill in between overpass and dorms. You can call it what you want. It's nothing special. Nobody fights back here anymore. I have fought some people and uh, I will show you guys a, a clip where... This guy laid down right here behind this, uh, was it? It may have been this tree. It may have been this tree. I don't really know. But he just laid down trying to watch me because he killed Tyler up on the overpass. Um, so just be careful for squatters up on top of the hill. There's really nothing else special to say about that side, though. Here's a cheeky spot. So when you're inside, obviously this is going in the backside of bus stop. But when you're inside right here, this is the inch, one of the entries to the new the new side on uh, new construction. There's a hole right there also. That's an entry. You got to crash and go through it. But this is probably the most popular because it gets you closer to overpass. If you know people, you hear shots, and you're waiting for them, you can come to this corner right here, backside of bus stop, and you can side in and see through that blue crate. This blue fence is all the way through in the back of that new side. So you can sit here and just watch it you can crouch if you want shoot through the weeds if you don't if you think that they might see you because they're decent players but you can sit here and just watch that i've killed a lot of people through it not sitting there camping it um because i don't do that right but i've been up on top of overpass and i've seen people push out uh and we've we've been fighting i even did that on stream once i think when i played sub saturday a while back when i used to be a good player and uh, I rushed down through here, and I stood in this corner, and I SV'd this guy standing inside here. Before and fast, but that's a difference. But yeah, this is that blue fence that you can see way back there. This is a really popular spot to push out on, or still big holes huge. But if 
anybody pushes out there and you have that angle, you'll win every single time. Because it, it's very, very, very difficult to see that spot. You can see it. Don't get me wrong. When you're pushing out, see, you can see it. But most people, I've noticed, just don't pay attention. And if you're, if you're like, peeking the angle, dude, they're not going to see you. It's very difficult to see you. It looks open right there, but I promise you it's it's more difficult than you think. Now, a couple things I want to point out. Um, we're going to go across this entire map before we go to dorms. Dorms will be at the very end part of the video because dorms has so much to offer and tell. I don't know why I checked that like I was looting for. A lot of players like to drop their items there. So if they kill anybody uh, inside here, inside new construction or back inside, and maybe their buddy died and they'd like to ditch gear. They usually come in here and ditch their gear right here. If this door is ever closed, it's not. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be open. So if it's closed, then definitely go in there and take a peek. This, this room right here, I didn't bring my keys, obviously. But there's a weapon box right there if you guys are interested. Hopefully I brought my... Yeah, I did. Alright. So, this area that you're about to enter is the biggest pvp area on customs dorms is trying to pick back up back in alpha dorms used to be it's no longer the biggest pvp area new construction is by far hands down and this little spot is going to be your lord and savior if somebody is holding in new construction a lot of players like to camp on top of it you can actually sit right here and you can move and get yourself a nice angle for people on this back side laying down right here looking over the ice cream. It does work and it is very nice and I recommend everybody use it. Other than that, this spot right here is mainly just for looking at the other propanes. Now there's really no super cheeky spot other than this spot right here that I have been noticing a lot of people using. If you're pushing from boiler side a lot of players have been sitting right here, just waiting for people to push through. This is the fence. Most people go behind but um, trash pit or the little scrap pit. Or just run straight down. Players have been using that though. There is a bag here if you want to loot for cigarettes. Nothing too too fancy. Pocket watch truck. Everybody's done with that quest though, so everybody knows all about that. Now. Here's a spot that people have been using quite, it's not like a super used spot, but you can actually run off this little extended piece of rubble and jump on top of this blue crate and get inside that building. So definitely watch out for that. Uh, and if scavs have respawned, there's always scavs down here at Ice Cream, so be careful for that. They're anybody as fuck. You can jump this, we call this Ninja. You can jump it and get over on the other side. Now, I don't know if I was surprised when I found out most people that know about this on Tarkov. If you crouch, you move. But if you sprint crouch, you slide. Okay? Well, most people don't know about that. I, it blew my mind when you didn't. But you can actually sprint crouch and slide out through that. So, instead of, instead of run up to it, crouch, and just slowly walk out. No. You can sprint. You can sprint right outside of it. And then keep on going. And it's because the movement is so different in Tarkov, it, it's very difficult to hit somebody that just like kind of bounces around and goes out. You can, obviously, but. Now, the only thing I want to say on top of this is be very careful um, for these right here because they are not actually solid objects. So. You notice I can go right through it. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Uh, my head is completely covered. I mean, you can still see it a little bit, but for the most part, it's covered and you can't actually hit me or kill me. So, uh, it was a headshot. You can still hit my body. I'm kind of rambling now because everything is kind of self explanatory from here on. This is pretty much custom side. Smugglers, watch out for people coming up through smugglers. The main path is they'll take water bridge and go all the way by smugglers and then come up by the road and run straight to dorms. Or they'll take this first land bridge and come up here and go through alley. A lot of players like to lay down and camp in these bushes right here, especially if they got here late and they killed a player and they heard you maybe right there shooting a big hole or something. They like to lay prone back here in the alley, so be careful if you want to go up on top of new construction. Now, with that said, we are going to push out and take our way to dorms. 
custom side is 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 honestly just straightforward. Um, once you're out of the customs, you're pretty much here at Ice Cream. So new construction is just like a wham bam kind of deal. <coughs> now there used to be a rock there you can jump on. They have since removed that. I don't know why they removed all these rocks. Doesn't make any sense to me. But it's whatever. Now this is also called Hill, uh, but it's in between. I like to call Ice Cream and dorms, or past dorms, or new construction and dorms. Tyler gets my call outs. My call outs are fucking wrecked. Now, we are going to start with the two story. One of the dorms closest to boiler side. On some nice loot up, some nice picks. Nobody fights here in courtyard. I don't know if I've killed one single player here in courtyard that's actually had gear in fighting. Most of the time it's just hatchets or low, low, low gear. Players will like to jump up on top of here on these little trash bags and they like to peek people out coming from this way. Or they like to camp inside here. They like to shoot you inside fucking dorms. I don't I don't know why people come in trash. It's it's a very bad spot. But I mean I guess it could be uh, I don't know. It's whatever. That's crater, bunch of scabs in there. You cannot go through that door. And you can go through this door. But it stops at this little fence. And like I said, you can shoot through it, but sometimes your bullets are blocked. Now, you come through this door right here. There will be a safe. Boom, boom, bam. There's a there's a miscellaneous spawn. You got bolts and tape there. Pliers can spawn there if you want 30 round val mags. Inside here is a tool room. I didn't bring a key. Is a toolbox and uh, coats and stuff. And, and I just want to say, I have found, I found most of my cigarettes inside coats. So... Just saying, search for coats. Look for coats in the in all these little rooms right here. Coats. There's a bag and shit, but coats are where it's at. Now, guard desk. It's somewhat of a rare key, but you can find it, no problem. Um, there's the key spawn. I found uh, two different keys on shoreline on this right here. There's a weapon spawn. Doesn't usually have that much. An attachment here, two boxes of ammo, and then obviously a weapon box, we'll, which we'll search for the, the shits and gigs of it. Probably not going to have it yet. Now, obviously in customs, everyone knows, be careful. You'll break the glass if you get too close to it. Now, the only thing I want to point out, this door right here, inside his hand spawns that guard desk key. It's a, it's a, you can find it in scab bags, obviously, like most keys, but... This is a stationary spawn. It's a for sure spawn only for that key, just like the Kaiba key. If you come down through here, this has a safe and a med bag in it. I'm not going to go open all of these, but this has a safe and a med bag in it. And one of your requests will be right here, as well as a computer to search. A safe right there. You can spawn batteries on top of that little desk right behind the safe. Nothing too fancy, special, fancy. Right inside here, one set of filing cabinets. And inside here two sets of filing cabinets if this bottom right hand drawer is open and this middle or this bottom middle drawer is open then they've not been tampered with that is how you know that they've probably not been searched and you have free game to search them this room right here is the most popular room to peek your gun out on back in the day more people are camping on top of dorms though so definitely keep that in mind now yeah. moving on they still haven't fixed this, and I don't know why they haven't fixed it, but they haven't fixed it. Jump on top of this white car, you can crouch, and you can... Okay, obviously you saw it. I used to be able to get it right here, but if you don't have that car key, you can actually search that grenade box just by standing on top of it. Yeah, there it was. See, I don't know, I don't know why they haven't fixed this, but they haven't. So definitely keep that in mind. Another really good spot is to jump up on top of here and you can snap through people camping inside that. It's kind of cancer and annoying, but you can. Oh, what the fuck? This whole video was... Alright. Two story. I showed you the loots, but that's all I did. How do you siege it? That's the question I get on a lot of my things. Hey, how do you siege most buildings? Dorms is very difficult to siege on because of a lot of players holding random corners now if you come through here and you see doors are open two things 
They've already looted this, and they're up top. If you hear them and you know where they are, it's a completely different story. But if you're up here, and you, you hear them down there, and you know, and the doors are open, be very careful. Because you are going to wait for line of sight. They are going to wait for the, your shoulder to peek out. They're going to wait for any piece of clothing, any bag, any tip of your gun, the barrel of your gun, any any part to be exposed and they're gonna shoot through these doors so like I said be aware of that the best way to siege it is to kinda walk at an angle like this and move your free look just walk you'll see him right there I mean you can sprint it obviously boom done but that's the best way to kinda get an angle if he's down here and just most people do hold hard angles most people that I have found out do this right here They lay prone behind this box and they just wait for people to push. Okay. You'll see them. Their feet will be sticking out. They're not a hard target. The next thing is when you go up on these stairs right here, just like most stairs, you immediately peek over. That's usually what I do. I'll, I'll flick from right to left because most people like to hold this right angle before they like to hold this left angle. And then when you come up here, I kind of do that and push back. Now I saw down both hallways right there without exposing myself too long like this because I've seen people camp and lay prone down in that little corner area and I've seen people lay prone down there other than that it's really just kind of peeking your rooms really quick you can shoot through every single door okay oops but you can shoot through every single door so please just shoot through them <laughs> Now, since this video is getting way too fucking long, we're going to make the third story pretty quick. But I do want to show you guys one last cheeky little spot, since I like to show cheeky spots. If this door is closed, maybe a buddy pushes up there and dies, because that's happened to me before. And they don't know you're there, or maybe they do know you're there, and they're just laying prone at the other end, like most people do. You can come, you can come right here. Boom. That is actually the other door right next to that filing cabinet. You stay out by this tree and you can snipe anybody laying down in there. It is a an extremely, extremely good spot. Um, the other thing is you can go up to one of those trees in the back and actually snipe people up on top of balcony. Now, how do you siege this area? It's the exact same thing. <laughs> Double check your corners, down your hallways, just listen, and pretty much just push through your rooms. Now, again, another chance to spawn a key right here, and factory key spawned on top of that table. You got a set of filings. Really nothing too, too fancy back here, except for inside this bathroom, all the way over here to the right, there is a bag to search for cigarettes. Food and shit on the table, drinks and whatnot, all the way back down through here. Through this bar door on the left, the only bar door on the left, you have a filing cabinet. And this key right here. There are two 108 keys. You find one 108 key and it won't open this door. You find another one and it will. You come through here, it's pretty much worthless. You got filing cabinets though and a comp. So it's really nice to search for that if you're on the prowl for graphics cards or, you know, CPUs and shit like that. So coming up through here. This door, just a tidbit fact, this door used to have to breach back in the day, but you don't have to anymore. Now, I didn't bring all my keys because I'm a, I'm a pleb, but open this. There's a chance for a weapon spawn. Inside here, there's a blue locker with a Bitcoin spawn on top. And obviously search a lot of these rooms, um, like for jackets and shit for cigarettes. Nothing too, too fancy. Weapon box here, most people don't actually know about. Weapon box there, weapon box there. Open up inside here, you've got your safe, which is a good spawn. Actually, I will show you guys this in case you are struggling with this quest. 214 has been rare this patch for me, so I don't know what the fuck is going on with it. Rubles can spawn here on the ground, rubles can spawn here, and obviously you have a safe. Now, that 203 key does spawn inside this cup in case you haven't found it. I'm going to say you probably have found it before you found that 214, but I could be wrong. Now, always unlock 218. It used to be called the M4 room, but my buddy and I haven't found an M4 in here in such a long time. But 
just the other day, I found an M4, and he's found an M4 there multiple times as well. So, they've, like, increased the chances of that spawn yet again. You can open up to 20. I got rid of that kid because it's trash. But there is a jacket and a bag in there for cigarettes. So, definitely bring that if you're trying to do that cigarette quest. Now, the only thing worth mentioning on third floor, you can actually open this. It's like a tool for a spawn. You can open this door right here, too, and there's a chance for a spawn. It's also a quest item, 303. Now, obviously the most important room here is marked and never just run up and unlock it like I did. Always come and peek into the bathroom thanks to Cotton. Peek into the bathroom, check your surroundings because people like to camp. And this is still considered to be one of the best spawns. It's just got a key bar, but this is considered to be the best spawn still on uh, Customs. Or I mean on uh, An Escape from Tarkov. The new Kaiba room is really dope, but it's it's a stretch to get, right? So, anyway, that's going to do it for this, guys. Um, I do appreciate all the love that's been you know, going on with my escape from Tarkov. Don't worry, it's not going to be only these tips and tricks videos anymore. I definitely do have some highlights, and I plan on uploading you know, three, four times this weekend because of that exact reason, because it was so long when I was working overtime. Um, but... That's pretty much how you do it. There's really no special path. The main PvP areas you'll find are in the spawns. So there's that. You'll just find some stragglers and maybe the victors. But most of the time when you push out of spawn, people get really cautious and really, really quiet and sneaky and kind of just post up somewhere. So be wary of that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Stay tuned. Shoreline's coming and Interchange is coming, especially since the new spawns that they've been popping out. Um... So let's, uh, let's just rock it on, man. Let's rock it on. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share if you want to, and as always, enjoy. Yeah. Like the attention, girl, I know you, but you're everything I want in life.